Today I'm going to demonstrate that exhaled breath contains carbon dioxide. Uh, as many of you know, carbon dioxide is a weak acid. It reacts with water to produce carbonic acid, which then dissociates into the hydrogen ion and the bicarbonate ion. I have in this uh, bottle um, tap water with a little bit of universal indicator. The solution has been made slightly basic with sodium hydroxide, and um, the, uh, the purple color is due to the fact that the, uh, the solution is basic and has a, a high pH. As the solution becomes more acidic, uh, the color will change, and uh, it should go through a kind of a greenish and then a yellowish color. Um, the regular air has a very small amount of carbon dioxide, uh, less than 400 uh, parts per million, or 0.04 percent. And first I'm going to demonstrate that regular air does not have an effect. There's not enough carbon dioxide in it. So I'm just uh, squeezing air into the tube and into the bottle. And I could do this uh, for a long period of time, but I won't take the time to do that. I'll, I'll ask you to trust me that it does not uh, cause the uh, solution to become uh, acidic. Uh, now, um, because I put a base in there, it will take a little bit of time, but I'm going to uh, blow into the tube, into the bottle, and we'll see what happens. Now, I do have to neutralize whatever base is in there, so it's probably going to take me a little longer than it would if I didn't make it so basic. You can see that it's a little bit uh, greener. And now it's a, a yellow color, quite a, a difference. So uh, this is a nice demonstration, very simple demonstration, to illustrate that um, when we exhale, there's more carbon dioxide in the air we exhale, uh, about 4% compared to the air we inhale, which has 0.04%, so about a hundredfold increase due to our respiration. So it's a very simple demonstration to illustrate that um, um, there's carbon dioxide in our exhaled air, and the carbon dioxide is an acid. One could do various variations on this, just pump carbon dioxide into the solution to show, uh, or add some acid to show that it gets goes from purple to, to yellow, uh, and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and you can use it with your students, and I'll see you next time.